When Common Alive came in, we always believed that the National Labor Relations Board should be pro-labor. Well, that's why one of the most significant things we've done is appointing a National Labor, National Labor Relations Board members who actually believe in unions and the right to negotiate. Yeah. <clears throat> Look what's changed. When Trump was president, he appointed union busters, yeah. union busters yeah. in that organization. It's designed to promote unions. And by the way, you think he has any damn idea what we do? No, no, I, I'm, I'm not being a wise guy. I mean, I wonder whether he has any notion, any notion what a hard day's work is. I mean, all he did was lose his father's money. And then get in trouble and have to owe a lot of other people money. And then borrow a lot of money and give tax cuts to the super wealthy and end up with the largest debt any president's left behind in four years. He has an incredible record. What an incredible record. <laughs> Oh, you think I'm kidding? Look at the numbers, man. And by the way, he, <laughs> he, he and uh, um, a guy uh, who was maybe the worst Republican president ever before him uh, ended up with, uh, he's the only one other than the Republican president who, when he came to office, had more jobs than when he left office, lost jobs. Look. Camel and I are focused on what Michigan is known for as well, the auto industry. I got through, I got through school. My dad managed an automobile dealership. That's how I got through school. I was proud to be the first president to walk the picket line and do it with the UAW. Walk the picket line with UAW workers here in Michigan. Kamala walked it as well. But Trump, Trump would much rather cross a picket line than walk one. Look, the UAW's historic wage increase have led to virtually every automaker across the country to raise wages as well. They're not only unions with recent hardworking success, from the SEIU to the writers and actors, dock workers, healthcare workers, baristas, warehouse workers, and so many more. We made a lot of progress, but we still have more to do. That's why we're here today. In a few minutes, I'm going to sign another groundbreaking executive order. Yeah. It's called for it's called the Good Jobs Executive Order. For the first time in our history, the official policy of a presidential administration is to specify a clear list of higher labor standards for jobs created through my investing in America agenda. 